Hi everybody, we are back and now we're going to move on with our really for interior designers. And so we've got our furniture laid out here and the kitchen. So I'm doing this concept to so give them this full space and that looks like this. And the other way looks like this from the corner. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in here and we're going to concentrate on our finishes. So first thing, since we're in our furniture plan, let's go to our furniture plan here. And we've got our furniture here. Now, I used this one before, but I switched out because apparently I want to edit this family. This manufacturer really didn't do a good job at uh, creating the finishes for us. It didn't make, um, let me see. Oh, actually, okay, I did that and it didn't work. So I'm going to cancel that. So we're going to use these families here that I selected. Um, they send them, I can tell them the material a little better. So if I go here and I go back to this view, I think, yeah, looking that way, let's just put this on uh, consistent colors. And there are our consistent colors. And then I'll go back and look at this realistically. Okay, that's realistically not running. So we got a lot of going on here. We got all this black furniture. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put this back in the shaded view. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go here and I want to look at this uh, back to my furniture plan. Oops. I want to grab this sofa. I want to edit this family. Now open this family as you can see uh, in the type properties. They have material, it's cushion material, and it's black. And that's basically what you're seeing here, even in real, uh, even as realistic. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how you can change this. So um, I can select this guy here. And there are other finishes. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new one here. So I'm going to create duplicate materials. I'm going to write new material. And then here, I'm going to rename this. I'll call it Sofa Material. Okay. And then I'll come over here and hit open access browser here and I've got let me see if I can go into fabric see what I got here now we can pull this stuff off the internet as well but um, okay we got some fabric here so hmm let's let's look at these blue stripes man because I don't know. No, let's do the brown squares. That might be a little more. So I'll push that over there. And then as you can see, it comes up here. And then I can close this. And then I can say apply. Hit OK. And I hit apply here. And OK. And there we have our material on our sofa. So that's kind of goofy looking, but that's loaded into our project. And override existing parameter values. And then I want to go into that, this view here. Actually, let's go to the, uh, well, we might be able to see, we need to set this to realistic. And there's our sofa with that finish on it. So I don't know if you like that. But I'm going to go ahead and do these others just to get this going. So just to brief you do this one more time, just do a quickie so we can just select this guy. We'll edit the family here. That material should already be here. So we go here and we'll just change this to what was in there. Okay. So what I've got to do here, go back over here. Let me go create new material, go there, 
thought I could, oh, I know what I could do. Let's just grab this thing again. It doesn't matter. Uh, where is it? Let's go to fabrics. Don't want to waste too much time on this because I want to show you how to do all of the interior materials today in this video. So let's go with the brown squares again. I'm going to select that out and we'll say re rename this. We'll call this uh, chair. You can call it whatever you like, but call it in that for this. And I'll say apply. <coughs> okay. And okay. So let's look at this realistic. There's that material. I'll load that into the project. Okay. Okay. So there you got it. There's our living room furnishing. So now the next thing we want to do, let's look at this. And we need a baseboard around here, I think. Yeah, we do. So a quick way to do that is I got this 3D view right here. So I started it right here. So basically what, what, what you do here, you just so got a little issue going on there. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. So here to do that, you just go and select architecture, wall, and then go down to sweep. And just slice that right there. And then place it there. And there. And let's just take this right around here. So we get our base in. Okay, then now we finish it, and that's the material we get. That's the wood material. So let's take this on around. Okay, let's go with our wall again, and we go with always go with sweep because sweep is always out of the wall. That's how I always remember. And there you go. So we've got our wall base in here. Just want to run through this right quickly. So we've got, let me see, shit. Now, so here, let's do one more wall sweep. Okay, nope. So that's, sorry, that's horizontal. The wall sweep. And it will select this wall right here. Uh oh. It's got to come down a bit. Oops. Let's check exit out of that. Let's see what's going on with this one. Let me see. Some kind of little issue here that might be doing that. Let's see what these properties are. Okay. Finish floor level. Okay. So we'll go here. We should put that in now. So there's our sweep going around our base. So we've got our base in. So now let's move this around. And now we need to think about painting. Now, I don't know what color we want to work with here, but I know that um, it's fairly simple. So like here, I painted these walls. Let me just edit this, select this wall, and show you what how this works. So I edit this wall here. And right here, where it says edit, there's my gypsum wall board. And there, there's all of my properties. So I'm going to cancel that out. So now for this, since it's wall board there already, <coughs> it's just simply, we just go in here and let's do... Uh, Modify and let's hit paint. So paint, we cancel that. So once we paint, we get all these materials, all of these different paints. So let's see if I can find something in here. Okay. 
collar top. Let's see where is that? Let me see if I can find one. Okay, soft number. Okay, so now let's do. Let's go ahead and just create some paint since we at it. Paint is pretty simple. You just go here into manage. And then you go to materials here. Now once you get over here in the materials, we've got a lot of materials already loaded here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just key in paint and see what I come up with. Or I can go to a manufacturer's site and pull off his paint. Stolab white, mm. brush nickel. So let's go create a paint. Let's go create one. So we'll select here, create new material. This is the new material. We're going to right click this, rename this to paint. Living room. Okay, so now we have that selected here, and then we go open that asset browser, and I'm gonna just scan and paint and see what we have here. Otherwise, I'm gonna bring in my own if I don't like it. So we can go paint. Hmm. Let's go finish here. Okay, let's go right here. Let's go with wall paint. Here we go. Matte. Okay, so let's let's Okay, then here we are all our paint colors. So like I said, we can pull these off of material uh, manufacturer site. So for this, since we got this brownish looking, let me go with beige, because I wanna let's do a cafe, because I wanna do a monochrome this wanna be a monochrome. Um Uh, color scheme in this place. So I'll go. Okay. Now that's not supposed to look like that, I don't think. So now let's go with paint. I think that something, something went wrong there. Let's just double check here. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say modify paint. The one I just used should be here. We called it a uh, chair, did we? No, we called it wall. Okay. There we go, right there. Um, there it is. Let's go with this one, and I'll say done. And then I should can go here, and I can just paint these walls. Uh, where is it at again? Just search it. Oh, there it is, right there. And then I go in here, and I could just paint these walls out. Now this color is looking a little dark. So I don't think we want to, well, I don't know. It might look pretty good. It's kind of dark. So let's uh, shift this around here. Let's paint these walls. So I'm going to leave it right there. Now, let's go to those two views. OK, now this view is a good shot of it. So let me just look at this. This is realistic. So. I'm going to render this as how it looks, and then I'm going to come back. we got to do the ceiling and more interior work. we got a baseboard there. So, hey, guys, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. We will continue on, Rivet, with interior designers finishes. Take care and bye.